Senator John Barrasso from Wyoming. He's the chairman of the Environment and Public Works Senate Committee. Let's start where Peter left off because that is your territory. We are mm -hmm. talking about that e EPA pick um, and Democrats walking out on Pruitt. What's going to happen next there? Well, Scott Pruitt will be voted uh, favorably out of committee, and he will be confirmed as the head of the EPA. He is the right person to turn around the direction of the EPA. Look, this needs to be modernized, uh, updated, improved. The EPA has lost its way. It caused huge contamination that the EPA itself caused, and I'm so delighted that Scott Pruitt, as Attorney General of Oklahoma, has been nominated. We'll get him to the floor, and we'll get him confirmed, and he'll be at work soon. Okay, so their chief complaint against Scott Pruitt was that he didn't answer the questions that were sent his way. I did a little digging. They submitted 1,078 questions to him to answer, which seems a little bit excessive. So you would blame that for them for that, maybe. At the same time, you did something very similar when it came to Jimmy, uh, Gin, Gina McCarthy, pardon me, as EPA administer back in 2013. So maybe turnabout is fair play here. Well, he answered questions for six and a half hours, over a thousand questions. What we're talking about is what happens when a new president comes into office. When Bill Clinton came into office, his new EPA director was on the job day two. On uh, in, when uh, George Bush came into office, the new EPA director first week. When Barack Obama came into office, his EPA director, the first week. So I think it's absolutely wrong of the, of the Democrats to obstruct. We have a newly elected president. He ought to be able to have his cabinet. Mm -hmm. you know, they're still so concerned about having the fact that Hillary Clinton lost the election and the, and the Democrats did not take the Senate. Republicans are still right. in the majority because of the way the American people voted. But it was, it was just, just a year into President Obama's second term, though, when you guys did the same thing in 2013. I know you're saying it's in the second half, but I mean, he was sure. voted back in in 2012. It was 2013. It was the beginning of his second administration. And he already had his EPA administrator, his first EPA administrator, was on the job. Who he nominated was an assistant within the department. So there was not any change in direction. Okay. What we have is a newly elected president, and the Democrats are obstructing one after another after another. You saw this with the Secretary of Health and Human Services. You've seen it with the Treasury Secretary. They tried to slow Rex Tillerson down, but I'm happy to say yeah. he was confirmed today with a bipartisan vote. Republicans and Democrats today confirm Rex Tillerson for Secretary of State. I want to take you to some breaking news right now that, you know, is, is, has a lot of people concerned. Uh, General Flynn holding a closed door briefing with reporters after sending a bold warning to Iran earlier today. These and other similar activities, Iran continues to threaten U.S. friends and allies in the region. The Obama administration failed to respond adequately to Tehran's malign actions. As of today, we are officially putting Iran on notice. So he, he's highlighting missile tests, ballistic missile tests that they've done, Iran fighting back, saying that, yeah, they did those, but they were lawful. They were able to do it. What do you think of this increasing tension and how the Trump administration is addressing it? Well, Iran has continued to do ballistic missile testing in violation of the U.N. agreement. Iran with a nuclear weapon makes the entire world less safe, less stable, and less secure. The Iran agreement, which President Obama took to the United Nations instead of to the United States Senate for confirmation, is something that I disagreed with. He gave $100 billion to Iran. I know they're using that money for terrorism. So I'm against the agreement. We have a new president who spoke out forcefully against the Iranian agreement. And I agree with President Trump and his position uh, on that. With the, with the agreement, when Barack Obama was president, Iran violated it, and President Obama did not enforce it. This is now going to be enforced. All right. Senator, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.